So I tried to make a bunch of video shorts as I was installing my Howerton Engineering uh, Aquamist water methanol injection system, but for some reason the files got all corrupted. So I thought I'll just give you one full video with everything, uh, tips that I found along the way. This is a 2003 R53. Uh, let's start at the back, give you some idea what's happening there. Um, when I bought the unit, uh, Jeff didn't have any more of the mini tanks available. So I ended up getting the dual tank system. So I have the dual tank system in the back of the car. You'll notice that there are, uh, it's actually a wire loom with the um, hose and the electronics, the electrical wires in it that are running to their respective areas. Uh, also, in order to bolt this down and keep it steady, I needed a way to do that. So I built this nice little bracket that goes between the luggage tie downs in the back and I put wing nuts both on the bracket and also on the side of the pump and tank enclosure so that if I was out, didn't have tools and needed to remove it, get at the battery, I could just uh, take the wing nuts off. I also put a little switch on the side here so that you can see the level of the water instead of hooking it up directly so it's always on. I just put it on a switch uh, and that way um, I could turn it on, leave it on if I want, turn it off and, and uh, uh, so that it just doesn't bother me at night when it's when we're driving so the Actual tubing for the water and methanol injection goes out underneath the car runs up the length of the car and Comes up to the front area Up in here in the driver's side cowl the fast-acting valve is on the side there uh, With all the attachments the instructions from Jeff are pretty good um, followed them really no issues a couple of tips uh, number one when I first installed it according to the instructions that's the first thing that you install but what you want to do is just put it on there finger tight because I found it easier to attach the tubing and the electronics to it if it was removed from the car especially as I was going through testing uh, number two here's the actual injection point on the trumpet itself coming off of the intercooler uh, you'll notice I had to cut a little section out of the intercooler cover because I didn't take that into account when I was measuring where I wanted to put it. So when you do it, uh, maybe you want to drop it down just a little bit more. The other thing is uh, when you tap the hole in the trumpet and uh, before you put the sleeve in, test fit it first, but make sure you put on some Loctite and finger tighten it and then just a smidge past finger tightening for the sleeve. Uh, and that should tighten it up. The actual injector really is only finger tight in that regard. Everything else, the electronics run into the cabin. I'll show you what that is. <clears throat> so for right now, I have the actual gauge uh, set up right here. I'm not sure if that's going to be its permanent spot, but uh, for now it was a convenient location for me to put it in. And all of the electronics are underneath the kick panel here let me open that up you'll see that there's the actual module it's not um, secured down just yet because I was playing a little bit with the thresholds on this to see when the uh, water and uh, methanol should start injecting so uh, still kind of tuning that up uh, the car hasn't been tuned to run on water methanol so for now it's um, just basically uh, injecting the water methanol with a stock tune. Well, I, I shouldn't say stock. Uh, Jan Brugerman did, uh, did tune it for me. So at this point, we're just going to let it run for a while, uh, get a characteristic for how the water methanol works, and then the next time Jan is around at Helix, uh, have him uh, put another tune on it for the water and methanol. So that's my video short of my installation. I hope it helps some people. Uh, not a lot of instruction, unfortunately. Like I said, the original files were corrupted, but it took me probably around uh, five or six hours just because it was my first time and I really didn't want to mess anything up. So hope that helps. Take care.